All right, hello everyone. So today, I'm not gonna be showing my whole collection, but some things I have in my o Ocean Liner collection. First of all, we have this book. It's, um, it's, wait here, let me show you, the, for some reason I took it off, it's called, it's called The Elizabeth Passage of a Queen, this is the book, it's, it's a pretty, it's a great book, I'm gonna show you guys some of the photos, it doesn't have a lot of photos, but it does have some photos, and it, Let's find. Okay, first of all, we have this photo. I don't know if I'm going to be able This photo. We have a photo of Commodore Mart on the bridge. And there's more, but I'll do that in another video dedicated to this book. Here is a Titanic book I, my grandma got me when she went to Belfast just a few months ago. She's back now. Here's the back to Stern. This is from the museum. This is a great book. I totally recommend to get it. If you go to Belfast, Ireland, here's just, this was a gift to me. This was a gift to me, my friend, my friend. Steve, also known as the Blue Ribbon, gave me this at the Queen Mary. It's a book about the RMS Queen Elizabeth, but he gave it to me at the Queen Mary. So thank you, Steve. I really appreciate you. And yeah, this is, I don't know, I can't ever figure out how to say the last name. David Hutchings, I think. Hutchings? I know it's David, but yeah, this has a lot of, this has a lot of QE, QE, um, um, photos. I'm, yeah, I am planning to do a video on this book for sure. And, but yeah, I have a few other projects before this book i'm going to do a project on um first i'm going to do the elizabeth that is right over there and then i'm then i'm going to do this then i'm going to do a book on the next book i'm going to show you so yeah that is the uh the queen elizabeth book here is here is um this is another but this is a book called this is like a whole collection basically of books this is classic liners i want to get his whole collection by andrew Brit britton i think his last name is britton he he made one of these on Queen Mary, Queen 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 Mary, Queen Elizabeth, Coronia, Mauritania too, and maybe Olympic. I don't know, but yeah, he has kind of a collection of his books. These have great photos. I'm not going to show you guys because I want to keep some of these photos as a surprise for that video is a surprise but yeah this is classic liners queen elizabeth here is i have to do a i'm probably gonna do a part two in this video because i have more in my ocean liner collection here is um a steward and stewardess call button plate from the queen mary and if you pay attention to detail 
if you stayed at Queen Mary, you've probably, if you stay in a deluxe state room, you've probably noticed the light switches. Mostly deluxe state rooms are original, but you probably, you see the, around it, well, those, like, this plates for the button, they are the same design as this, as the, this on it. So, yeah, they left those in the deluxe state rooms. They took all the steward and stewardess call buttons out. Not all of them, not all of them, but in the, they still have some in the bathrooms, but they, they don't have them in the beds anymore, the bedrooms for some reason. More, I don't know why, but yeah, this is a steward and stewardess call button plate. Here is a postcard I printed out of Queen Elizabeth. It's nothing special. This is this one of my favorite photos of the Queen Elizabeth, so I wanted to print it out. So, yeah, it is my favorite photo of the Queen Elizabeth, so yeah, that's pretty much why I printed it out. Here is just a postcard from Shipwrecks Postcards and Photos. So yeah, that's all that is. Here, here is a kind of heavy book. It weigh, weighs at least a few pounds, five pounds maybe. It's a ship, ship visual encyclopedia, which I call it my ship um dictionary i call it that but it varies from battleships um ocean liners warships even towards the end cruise ships it even includes the queen mary i don't know if i'll be doing a video on this ship or i mean on this book um, if you're a if you're a long time Moonzer viewer, you pro I've you probably seen me mention this probably, but I've never really gotten to show it. So yo. Here is um did I already show this? I don't know, but this here anyways, this is a magazine I got actually from Target, I think. I found it at Target. And it's about the Titanic. I don't think... I think this on the back... I think this is Britannic on the back being launched. So, yeah. That's crazy that I found that. I think it was like... What was it? Like right after the Titan submersible? Or no, it was before the Titan submersible accident. But, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. This is interesting. This magazine. So yeah, here is, I got this when I, this like first got in the ships, Titanic for children. This is like 2018, 2019 stuff, or I got this for my birthday. So this is probably February, 2019, I got this. Cause this is when I first, first got in the ships. I got this. This is pretty interesting. I might I might do a video on this book. I don't I don't know though. I don't know where I got this from, but I have it. It's a Titanic. It's a Titanic National Geographic book. I don't know where I got it. I don't know how I ended up with it. But yeah, I got it though, and it's in my collection. Is there anything else? Oh. Since this is in the room I'm in right now, I might as well show you guys this. This is another thing my grandma my grandma brought me back over from Belfast. So yeah, it's a bag. I did a I did like a live stream on all that stuff I got, but I'll still show you some of the stuff I got. Hang on. This isn't, this isn't, this book isn't from Belfast. This is, this is what you use to get into the museum. That, 
this is this is something she got me actually i haven't looked in this into a long time it's like a what is it q a q a question and answer q a yeah i'm sure some of you guys recognize this book i don't know though i know they sold it at queen mary for a short minute i know that for a fact Okay. It's I want to be careful with this actually. So here it is. So yeah, this like I said, this is not from uh Belfast. It's just but it's something my grandma that went there also got me though. So yeah, I know I had a postcard. It's somewhere. Please don't say I lose it. Please, please, please. And I know I had it in. I know I had it in this book. For a minute when I got it. I possibly. It's probably over there on my thing. I don't know what happened to that. Whatever happened. Whatever happened to that? How could I lose that? Oh my god. Anyways, I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna, when I get done with this video, I'm probably gonna go look for it over there. I don't know where it, where it could have went. Yeah. But yeah. The, so if you go to, if you go to, um, Belfast and you go to the museum, you're probably going to get one of these, most likely, because, I mean, that's how you're supposed to get in, you know, so you're most likely going to get one of these. I'd suggest keeping it, because you're pro. I mean, if you go a few times, you're probably only going to get one, so keep it. So, yeah. But, yeah, that is, th this is part part one there's gonna be a part two and maybe three because i am expecting something ocean liner related in the mail but this is part one of my co collection of ocean liners so yeah there's another thing i have this this is just a poster i have um i actually it was from an old book i took it from my s s old school they said i could just because the book was getting it was towards the end of the year the book was getting old so they said i could just take it out because they knew i really would want this so yeah i they allowed me to take this page out of the book and i hung it up in my room so yeah